Hey guys, it's Mega25 here, and yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and that's not good enough. It's like, you've been gone for two months. Two months. What have you been doing? I've been playing video games and doing homework. <laughs> I mean, between school, playing my games, getting this piece of garbage to work, and everything else. I mean, I haven't had the time to put up the videos that I've wanted to put up. Um, anyway, I got time now, so I'm going to do a review I've wanted to do since I got the game, on day one. I pre-ordered this sucker, so it's pretty much the first game I ever actually pre-ordered, which is insane for me because you guys know I'm working on a budget. And it is the best 3DS game, Kid Icarus Uprising. This game, th this little game, better than anything else on a 3DS. And if you guys have been keeping up with my 3DS library, you know how good my 3DS library is right now. I mean, I got both Mario games. Both of them. How do you beat Super Mario 3D Land and Mario Kart 7? How do you kick both of their butts? Well, get your 3DSs loaded, because we are going to find out. Kid Icarus Uprising. Here we go. It's going to be a little wonky playing this because of my setup. It's kind of weird. But uh, let's see how we go. And then the bottom screen, you just have to just press the touch. Here you, up here it shows you um, everything you've got. And that's the time I've actually played in the actual game. 33 hours. For me, that's pretty big. you got three different ones. I don't have any other files up. So we'll choose ours. We got Solo, Street Pass, Vault, Together, Options, the AR card battle, and how to play. The um, Vault I'll go to first is to show you your idols, all this stuff, stuff like that. Kind of cool to look at. And then your Power Portrait. Get po you um basically for getting all the different powers in the game you can actually unlock this little picture kind of cool the offering um I have no idea what this is to do but it basically makes your see right there it's Princess Palutena it makes her closer to you I have no idea why it's there or what its thing is the idle toss which is kind of interesting you can't see anything on the top but on the bottom here you have all these eggs and the idea is to launch these eggs up. You launch that egg up, and you got a new um, idol. See, that's the um, Juggernaut, which if you guys don't know what it is, that's okay for you. The more eggs you launch, the higher that percentage is right there. So let's launch these and find out what we get. Ah, uh, the awesome mini cutie. Yay. <laughs> anyway. Music gallery is off. Now we go to... First together mode is basically your online. The online has no lag, which is better than Mario Kart 7. Because like Mario Kart 7 is yeah, it's no lag, but this has no lag and and it and it's a 3D fighting, 3D shooting fighter game kind of thing. It's basically the ground missions. Your options, which is pretty self-explanatory. Street pass is uh, kind of interesting. Basically, you can get gens by walking by people. I only have three, and those are the three that you got from Lady Palatina. The Silver Bow, the Lancer Staff, and the Angel Bow. But in order to fuse them, if you can't see, you need an ungodly amount of stars. You need an ungodly amount of them. And the stronger these, is, I see the end all on, but... Yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. But, you got solo mode. And then there is the treasures. This is massive. It, it, it's, it's insane. I mean, like, you got 120 squares per. You got 120 squares per thing. You have to unlock three pictures. Three pictures, and it's just... 120, 240, 360, 360 little squares to unlock. 
and they're all unlocked various different ways. They're extremely hard, but Hades is the hardest, Palutena being the easiest, and Viridi being the medium. We go to our arms altar here. Here we get to buy weapons, fuse them, and convert them into hearts to buy other weapons. Here you can like fuse them and things like that. Which is kind of cool. As a matter of fact, I'll do a little fusing right now. See, that shows you what you can make, and these yellow bars show you what um, you'll get from it. Also, if you haven't noticed, the music is amazing. <laughs> the music is absolutely incredible. <laughs> Sega 163. So you get the pop. Yeah, we got all these, and I'm choosing, and I'm burning up time. <laughs> yeah, this is good. I'll make the burst blade. I wonder how burst blade you turn out to be. Oh, hello. I think that's good for right now. Redeem points. Here you can buy different weapons. You also get sales off. I think that has to do with um, the, um, you know, the um, offerings. But I'm really not sure. To be um, honest, I don't want to fill you guys in with information that's faulty. So yeah, you get all the different weapons you can buy. And then you fuse them and stuff. But now let's go on to the gameplay. Um, in total, there's about, um, 25 chapters. Um, for the sake of the story, I'm just gonna show you, um, episode one. And to make it extremely, and make it a lot easier on myself. I'll show you, um, six so I can show you the, um, thing. Sorry to keep you waiting. So I'm gonna really suck playing this, by the way. By the way, the bottom screen here, um, see, um, if you can see that, I don't think you can, but there's a little circle that comes up, it's a reticle. Um, basically what that does is that moves your cursor around so you can shoot enemies on the screen while moving yourself with the stick here. Because you can see that. The L trigger back here acts as the, um, trigger so you can fire the L trigger. Most people have actually said that this is a really crappy control scheme. Honestly, I absolutely love it and find no problems with it. See what I mean? Him. I mean, people say that this controls really well. It's when the land battles, people say that the controls really stink, which I've never really thought of it. And also, there's stuff you can see on the bottom as well. And you can also move the words from the top to the bottom if they're annoying to you. Which I keep them on the top so I can keep it on top. Let's see. See all the portraits on the bottom. And the portraits, by the way, and the graphics in general look amazing. I mean, it's really good to look at the bottom. Oh, by the way, um, if you can see there... There's actually um, a little thing that tells you about the um, Thieves' Cauldron. The Thieves' Cauldron is basically uh, um, the pot where you put all your um, hearts in. At the beginning, you can put no hearts in or more hearts in. Um, it basically can make your game easier or harder. Making it easier obviously has the um, obvious reasons. But making it harder makes it so you can get more hearts when you kill enemies. And it also in unlocks intensity gates, as we will see when we... we are there's a special attack which can eliminate almost all, which can make a massive attack to almost all the en all enemies on screen. It doesn't kill them though, it's just a massive attack. So kind of be careful with that. Oh, 
And by the way, for um, a lot of people who think that, oh, this is a little childish game, this game is hard. This, this game doesn't play. And there are also different weapon types. I'm using the Orbitars right now. There's like blades, clubs, arms, palms, and there's a lot of stuff in this game. I was I was staggered at the amount of content that's in this. You'll be spending hours just going through everything. Okay, and now we see it. They're gonna show a little force for it. I've always, I've always loved that right there. That model right there. That's so funny. I'm sorry. I've always loved that model when he just hold his hands together. So it's like, oh my gosh, you, 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 you just. It just reinforces that he really, really likes her, and honestly, he's probably taking advantage of her. To be perfectly honest. But looks like I'm running out of time. First things first. Try turning left, Pit. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of things. That's ah, a piece of cake. Good luck out there, Pit. One thing also to note is that the music is incredible. So wipe out as many monsters as you can. Come on. Yeah, like spinning a globe. That's that's where everyone says the controls in this game really slip and fall in space. Honestly, I have no problems with it, and so do a lot of people. Honestly, if that's the only thing holding you back, then really you're getting hold back by the invisible by an invisible hand. You're not being hold back by anything. That's honestly the only reason you're not buying this game. You're jipping yourself, honestly. Because the controls are fine, and you get used to them very quickly. Honestly, I don't find the same to be that helpful, but some people do. Okay, so we get the grenade. Yeah, I got another twin bows can. I'm about to get another weapon, I believe. See, look, there's an intensity gate. You go through the intensity gate if you're playing on a certain intensity on that or higher. Yeah, also, uh, one thing that can get kind of annoying is that you can only run for a certain time or Pit will get tired out, which is kind of weird. He's this massive angel, yet he can't run for five minutes. I would assume that he'd be able to run for something like that. See, when he's panting, you need to really slow your butt down. Sorry, it's getting hard for me to fight like this. See, this tank and he's a real pain in the butt. You gotta hit it on the red. There we go. He's dead. Oh, and he still hurt me. That piece of garbage. I love it when you just let him come up. It's like, I'm not done yet. See, and look, it shows you what you got on the bottom there. And I mean, um, you can also use these, like, different abilities. Like, reflector barrier. And stuff like that. I mean, I rarely use them, but I guess it's something that you need to look out for because that's how you get the power portrait. It's by getting those. There are also special chambers you can get, you can find, and stuff like that. And this game, I mean, I'm not even... See, there's an effect. The effect recovery. By the way, when people say this game is hilarious, it really, really is. It's, it's friggin' piss your pants, man. This game is friggin' awesome. And it's hilarious. Also, I love it when it turns into this red. You also get, um, this drink of the gods that I just picked up. 
I just pick up the drink of the gods, and that basically tells you that you're about to do um, a boss battle or something hard of that nature. Or just got better. Just got after one. Come on. Yeah, not like what I'm doing. Come on, die, twin. There we go. It also like uh, glides out. There you go, defeated. It also tallies up your score. You get more for the intensity and all that stuff. And yeah, here's the little. Anyway, guys, great game. If I had to give a score, it'd be 10 out of 10. It also shows you all the stuff you got. And it's just, it's just such a great game. And honestly, I think it's been downplayed for far too long. Honestly, I think this is the best game on Nintendo 3DS. And it's going to have a sequel. I mean, it's got to. Anyway guys, till next time, Mecha25 is out of here.